Yo, what up, YouTube? Uh, before we get into Jackson's toolbox, I just wanted to uh, go over some major updates to my toolbox. I recorded that video probably about a month ago. I didn't get to upload it until last week. I want to try to do one videos a week, one video a week. But uh, you can see, got me a Cummins in the shop right now. That's pretty much what I work on. But uh, I did do some things. Uh, not not any major purchases maybe uh maybe one or two but um you can see uh, a lot of people were telling me uh, that they don't really like the green uh i didn't really like the green when i started off uh the green is really cool because uh most of the time i can see over to this other side of the shop hey that's my tool it's a green tool so that's why i really like the green i don't i don't really not particular to green uh, but I like being able to see my tools from across the shop when people use them like, you know, my my brake cleaner. I'm like, yeah, that's mine. But uh, I changed all the handles on my ratchets. One of them was uh, already green. Um, I changed the hard handles. I got this one. This is uh, breast cancer awareness. But you can see how, how how much it is to keep up with. You know, this is my box on... You know the daily basis and stuff so you can see the thumbprints everywhere you got to really keep up with it that's the only downfall about the green but i did do all of the rails green so it looks pretty yeah and then i just recently purchased these they're a cornwell set of mid links which they're pretty awesome if you look at the mid links next to the shallows they're deep but they're not quite deep as the deep well sockets. So that's really good. These sockets are really good for uh, the crankcase filter on the Cummins. The back right bolt is super hard to get to. Um, so I did that. that. That is one of the freaking purchases. Um, I did finally get the air hammer. There she goes. That's an awesome purchase right there. That gets you out of binds, man. When you get a... When you get a ball joint or, or something that won't come out, you just put that air hammer on it, brings it right off. And the last thing, ooh, I did get this little Cornwell uh, clicker, quarter inch. This is really awesome uh, for doing like transmission oil pans, stuff like that. Uh, it's got the flex head on it. It's super awesome, actually, I love it. And then the last thing that I got, I finally broke down and bought the 3 8 inch long neck. I haven't used it yet, but yeah. So I got the 3 8 quarter inch short neck and the quarter inch 3 8 long neck. So those are the updates. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Jackson's toolbox tour. Once again, he's a one year apprentice. He's accumulated, you know, a pretty good amount of tools. So uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. All right, here we go. This is Jackson. What's up? He's a, what is it? I would say a one year apprentice. So we're doing a one year apprentice toolbox tour. Uh, he's gonna go through his box and he's gonna show us, show us all his things that he's acquired. He, cool thing about Jackson, man, he just graduated high school. This, so he was working, you know, he was working while he was going to high school and he accumulated most of his tools like after work. He's got a lot of Cornwell stuff because uh, when he got off of school, Cornwell was the only guy that came because Cornwell would come at five o'clock and that's the only guy. Our Snap-on guy comes at 10 on Tuesday and he was in school. So yeah. just recently started buying Snap-on. So without further ado, this is Jackson. Show us your right. box, man. Uh, we got the top of the box is for the sockets, of course. Um, I got Mac sockets. These are pretty dope. Um, pretty sure I got cheated out of them because it's kind of a waste of money. The Tecno ones are exactly the same. But I mean, they're kind of cool. I don't use them as much as I thought I was. And I got these Astro ones, pretty dope. Three eighths. And then I got Cornwell quarter inch deep and shallow. Then this is just some random sockets i found at the bottom of a drawer no idea where i got them from but uh yeah hey, i got a lot of stuff like that Bro just, brody's gonna have a lot of stuff just, like that they're just sitting in there but then i got three eighths in deep shallow chrome and impact all blue power all cornwell basically that just is like my 
most used sockets and I got these Sun X Allens, they're pretty dope. Got my gear wrench, nice tools. And I got these random Craftsman standard set I literally just have sitting there. I've never used it a single time. <laughs> and I got these random Craftsman Allens. The only one I use is this one for the, the Cherokee Biffs. That's it. And then I got Milwaukee. I got from 10 to 36. But I have the eight and nine at home because there's no point for a half inch eight and nine. So I was asking Gus when I first came here, I was like, hey man, do you use SAE here? And he was like, what the hell is SAE? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, the standard, the fractions, dude. Nah, you don't <laughs> so we don't, we work on automotive, so we don't use a lot of no uh, standard, standard at, all. at all. You can rarely see them like the... the like old, a lot of the Cummins stuff. The on Cummins, their yeah. nuts are like 24s or like the standard conversion in that. But I mean, you barely see them. And I got these Torx bits I got off Amazon. These e-torques I got off Amazon are pretty dope. Got this amazing Cornwell spark plug socket. This yeah. saves money right here. I've been borrowing that socket for the last three months. I finally broke down and bought some spark plug sockets. And I got these uh, uh, tamper-proof torques up here. Vim quarter-inch wobbles and Vim super shallows. These are pretty dope. You can put Ooh. a wrench on them, and they're literally this big. You can get them anywhere. They're, they're oh, that's dope. And these trays are all Vim, and these trays are all Cornwell. And I got this expert set from Mac. I've only lost one sock I got warranty today, but it wasn't a Mac sock, it's just a Sunex sock. <laughs> They're the same thing. And I got these are another waste of money. A gear wrench makes the same thing, and he's an expert. It's paid double what Chris paid for his. That's oh, stupid. And I got this is an amazing thing. It has all the bits you need and the small ratchet. Yeah, that's kind of like the. Uh, the uh, what is it called? The hybrid, the icon one. Yeah, it's kind of similar. They're, I think, yeah, they all have funny. like you know yeah. similar I stuff. There's the lug nut sockets right here, and I got my Mac pry bars, I like those, and then snap on cabinet screwdrivers. Ooh. I got those throughout the box. I'm trying to get him to switch me uh, screwdrivers, uh, all of his uh, flat screwdrivers. I'm trying to give him green and he give me red so we can have so we can identify what's what what screwdrivers are what <laughs> and i got cornwell got an amazing deal on these it was like you trade in any five screwdrivers you get the whole set for 80 bucks another cornwell panel tool the long one now, i'm not pulling it out but there's a milwaukee breaker bar right here i don't feel like pulling it out though yeah it's down there and i got power probe torch some gloves and glasses for when i do exhaust manifolds blow tools just random stuff in there First drawer, right here. First drawer, the pliers. I'm gonna be honest. I only use these. Uh, these are legit. I, I could throw all these away and not care. Uh, if I have these, it's okay. Yeah, I think a a long set of needle nose and then those. Uh, like, the like you thing, don't need any. You don't need nothing. Like, these are destroyed. Sometimes like a big set of channel locks yeah. to crank on like fuel filters or I like something. These are like the knockoff Nipex from Cornwell, like rebranded with trash grips but i got yeah, a lot of pliers are like nice to have yeah, but <laughs> half the time or i don't i don't even remember that i have the, yeah. the appropriate pliers box, there's like a million pliers just chilling there and then this is my ratchet and like my this is for interior ease but i got coil ratchet it's pretty dope i like this one and i got my snap-on ratchet i love this thing I, this is what i make all my money with and uh yeah, so funny story about this. He's like, oh, this one's stupid. It's too small. And then he borrowed mine one day, and he's like, man, I really like this ratchet. And then the next week, he bought his own. So, but this, don't don't sleep on this one, man. It's a 3 8 It's not a stubby. It's just not a long 3 8 It's just really fat. Yeah, it's it sucks. Fat. Yeah, it's really fat. This gear wrench one is like the same size. It's not flex head, but it's like super skinny, and you get this big, fat snap on it. It's hard to fit it in some places. Yeah. I got this snap-on stubby. I like this one a lot. And I got, I don't know where I got this from, but I use it all the time. I think I found, I think I stole it from school, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> and I got a Matco quarter inch. I love this thing. That's probably what I use the most. And I got this coral one. That's a piece of garbage. I've never used that one ever. This one, I have a love-hate relationship with because I use it when I need it, but I don't ever, I always forget I have it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I could have used that. But then these... The thing about ratchets is like, 
when you first like this i think the reason why i like mine so much was this is the first snap on ratchet i bought and the feel of snap on ratchet is so good so i used it so much and i was like man i love this ratchet but now like the more ones you accumulate you you're like you you're all oh, i forgot i have this but this this was my first snap on ratchet too i think i think that was my first one and whatever I got these are amazing. I don't care about any of these trim clip tools except for this one. This thing literally pulls apart like door panels, anything you want it to. Like just get it in there and pull it out. It's it's that simple. It's uh, Everybody makes their own, but Matt Curry, I just bought it for one second. Then it's got a random drawer. Um, got the snap-on torch covers. Uh, pretty dope. They're like from eight to twenty, and then. Snap on picks on the 90s, the only one you ever need. So, all the other yeah. ones are trash. I use the hook sometimes to hook yeah, stuff and pull it. Something. Now, I got the these are cool for doing like the oil pans and the trans pans to so scrape them off. You just have to be really careful, but yeah, they're nice. And then some stubbies, stubbies I don't know who uses a stubby, and then like Cornwell panel tools. Really That's neat. freaking all right. Next drawer got the money drawer extensions this is this is my favorite drawer right here <laughs> it's got some random like throw extensions just they're just sitting there i mean i use them every now and then i don't really need them and i got the icon set with a singular 40 dollar 13 millimeter because edgar left mine at a junkyard it's <laughs> biggest waste of money i've ever done in my life. it's crazy this snap on wrench right here is more expensive than this entire set i don't even think that's true but you can say that um then the platinum double box in ratcheting wrenches are pretty dope. I mean, this is the one that sits out because 13 and 15 are most used bolts on Chrysler. Yeah, I got. I also got the big set. I, I like using for uh, the suspension and alignments. The 24, 27 really, really helps out. Then I got this random icon extension. I I was skipping school one day with my friends, and I just went out to Harbor Freight to buy a paint gun, and they were on sale. So I was like, oh, whatever, I need it. <laughs> and um. There's the snap-on extensions. They're pretty dope. The only have one wobble plus, which is kind of sad, but it's whatever. I live with it. Um, yes, yeah, it's cool. Then the Matco wobble extensions. These are these are pretty tight. I like those. Then gear wrench. The most common rationing wrenches that we use in the shops. So I just have them sitting back there. I have more, but we don't. I don't use them. Yeah. Shops. Then. I kind of need to downsize my cart and take like a lot of stuff I don't use. Like that's what I'm saying. Um, like, like in my big toolbox, I just throw everything that I really don't use that's just part of the set that I can downgrade on. To yeah. Save the weight because it gets heavy. You just keep throwing around. Like last Thursday, I had this cart all around the shop doing different trucks and stuff, and it was it was fun. It's whatever. So power tools, power tools, that, that's everybody's favorite drawer. The snap-on, 3 8 brushless, long neck, some money right there. Um, then the quarter inch long neck quarter, uh, brushless, pretty nice. And then the rocker trigger, 3 8 brushless, yeah. it's pretty dope. Yeah, you've seen those memes on Facebook where it's like, what my friends think a thousand dollars worth of tools look like that's literally, $1, <laughs> literally. $1, yeah well it's, i mean if you buy bare tools it's a thousand yeah. you throw i throw I mean, a battery on each of them too yeah you're talking i already had the charger so i wasn't that's a lot of money then i got this from gustavo for free because i beat him in the game of dice yeah we played dice and then i had the now got this from griffin because i traded him a drill now i lost it to gustavo and he had it for probably about two months and he loved it <laughs> and then i got it back finally. and you want it back and uh that was probably the happiest i've ever been and the big snap-on gun for like lugs or suspension whatever i can use really fit in there. yeah i have this this one's big brother in green I just, this is good but the, the good thing about that one is it's a lot li lighter than mine yeah mine is like specifically for lugs man you try to do something else with it and it's like it's holding up a freaking 50 pound bag it's, of food it's heavy but i mean that does the job I like it. I got all right looking at hammers half this inch. is this is like the shop half inch right here everybody uses it i don't like it but it's whatever i just have to live with it nowadays yeah i exploded the head on it on a diesel tensioner 
but that's what happens when you start the diesel in the freaking that's not what and happened the, at all. And, and the ratchet is still on the that's crank that's not what happened at all <laughs> it, i did something stupid but i don't feel like talking about it so there's the half inch ratchet i use for like the fuel pumps or whatever the def pumps and there's the system this is what i use for like brakes a lot it's a half inch mac ratchet and i got this one from edgar three eighths long um matco ratchet is pretty tight and i got the mac big boy hammer set and then milwaukee dead blow and then the milwaukee De metal dead blow yeah i had these in my uh in my cart and i moved them to my big box because i couldn't like swinging this 32 in 32 ounce hammer around like it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. this is like a, I'm not asking hammer, and I didn't really need that for everyday use. No, this is a 48 ounce. Like, yeah, it's too big. I think it goes 30, 32, 36, and 48. I want to end up right. something semi trucks one day. So yeah, <laughs> he thinks. No, I don't. But I back of the box is just for the forks. I mean, these were kind of a waste of money. I mean, I don't really use these as much, but I have them just in case. But this one is, every time I see a CV axle, and I remember I have it, I use it. That's the big nice. problem, just remembering I have it. So who makes your tool cart? Uh, is it a U.S. General or is it a snap-on? It's U.S. General, but there's no way to tell because I debadged it. Yeah, he debadged it. It's a snap-on. <laughs> see right there, snap-on tool cart? Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's a cool, it, I mean, it does yeah. I used to have a yellow one. And it was like a yeah. and me and Gustavo traded straight up and gave me 50 bucks from this one. So whatever. So one more again, what's uh what's the biggest tool that you regret per purchasing? What's your it's, most regretful it's, it's, purchase? It's, 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 this one for sure. I bought this from Edgar and I used it probably three times. And their extractors, yeah, they're handy. It's good that I've only used it three times, but at the same time, I mean it's missing one, broken one. It's kind of I could have bought this from Harbor Freight and it would have been the same thing. So, that's whatever. That's probably the biggest. Well, waste of money. So, that's Jackson. One year. He's coming up on one year Dodge Apprentice right now. Dodge Chrysler. Whatever you want to say. Uh, he says he wants to work on diesel trucks. So, that's his tool cart. I think he's got a pretty good setup for somebody who's only been in the game for about a year. So. And most of it's paid for. <laughs> yeah. Only a little bit isn't it? Yeah. This isn't a tool credit. I don't really so I don't really consider like the ten week not paid for if you're paying a hundred bucks a week. But yeah, I, I like big Yeah, if you if you finance stuff and you're paying five years, well, I of, then I think it's not paid for, you know what I mean? All of my stuff is uh, not none of it's on a credit account. All of it's straight up because I mean none of their my bills are so big because I like to pay big payments are so big that I need to roll it over to a credit. Yeah. That's so I mean, I will say another thing I regret buying, sorry, is this piece of garbage streamline. <laughs> I have warrantied this thing six times, and this is a fully charged battery, and it does not work at all. Yeah, everybody talks shit about these streamlights. Like, they're so good, man. Like, I don't know. They're like, oh, yeah, I got this streamlight, streamlight, streamlight. And I'm like, I hear Jackson over here bitching about his streamlight. I'm like, I'm never buying that shit. And I lost my snap-on light. Uh, lost this light I got off Cornwell. Is it the red one? Yes. The the folding one? It's gone. Yeah, that's no the best. That's by far the best that's light you can buy. I've ever had. I mean, I got this one for my mom for Christmas. No one even know who makes it. It's a good light. Like yeah. And I got this interior done because it's clean. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for Jackson. We got a few more techs that we're gonna we're gonna do their toolbox tour. Gus is out sick today, but we're gonna do Gus Edgar's and then. Uh, who else do we got to do? Griffin Freaking. said that he has to clean his tools. Griffin's got to clean his tools. So, I think Sam uh, organized his tools. I think we're going to... Jackson's the first uh, apprentice we're going to do. We're going to move through the techs first, and then we're going to go through the apprentices. But, hey, man, appreciate you all watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and do all that stuff. Tell us, tell us your thoughts on, on the tools that we have.